Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen. Amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher in the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 beautiful scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yah. Shael. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the world all over the diaspora. I greet you all in the precious glorious name of our soon coming King and to the beautiful body of Christ whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle or blemish. I greet you all in the priceless matchless name of our soon coming King Yeshaya. Alright, you can skip this bit and find the main message. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping. Remember the top 20s name name calling. I will do it at the ending of the video. Uh, remember my name is Sister Karen. It is in solid gray border with a tick. And nobody else in the comment section pretending to be me. You know what time it is. It's a wicked dirty devil. Please watch the video to the end. Especially those who have not accepted Yesiah as the Lord and Savior. Time is running out. Hallelujah. We want you into the kingdom of the Most High. And um, remember this channel is shadow banned, it is censored. So when you cannot hear anything, no sound, video, no streaming, all sorts of wickedness that's going on. It is not me. Honestly, video is perfect when I upload it. It is this platform that's causing the trouble, not me. All right. Um, hold on, brothers and sisters. Just hold on one sec. I'm coming back. Hold on one second. Hallelujah, I just wanted to close the door. All right, it's not me. And um, remember to continue to like the video, subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification, do the comment, share the videos and all of that. And thank you for those of you who have taken time out to bless me through PayPal. I really appreciate it. It's been a great source, source in my life. Thank you so, so much for that. All right, brothers and sisters. Um, we are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Messiah the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty, lawless one, the Antichrist. He's coming on the scene very, very soon. And lawlessness, please read Daniel 7, verse 25, where the Bible talks about Satan through the Antichrist will change times, laws, and seasons. Brothers and sisters, please understand we're heading heading into a world that will look like Mad Max, a.k.a. the Book of Eli, the Denzel Washington movie, that post-apocalyptic world that we're heading into. That is what we're going to get. That is the beast system. Nothing good is going to be in that world. And Satan will rule that world. You will not find a higher, you will not find the Holy Spirit in that world. So it's going to be a tough one. And that's why, you know, we talk about the gillows, all right? And the mark of the beast, because that's where we're heading. All right, we have a prophetic theme song. So make sure that your anchor holds in Christ. Make sure that you are buckled up on the Psalms 91. All right, we have a theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She used to hide sweeties and toys. And when we're near to the stuff, she used to sing how near you are. And it's such a fitting song for these end times. And the song goes like this. This is a prophetic song for this channel. Hallelujah. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near. We can sing that song with. Right, confidence. All right, all right, brothers and sisters. Listen, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this, and um, because I'm, the Lord showed me in my spirit that there's many, many women who proclaim to be children, a child of Him, Ahaya, is following this woman that I'm going about to show you now. I don't know much about her, and I have to be honest. Um, it's one of those situations where I did a video about Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion when I did a video about them. I never heard about them before. Never. I know about Nicki Minaj because I used to listen to Nicki back in 2014, a little bit of 15, 
before the Lord wake me up, woke me out, woke me up out of my sleep to become a prophetess. So I know about Nicki Minaj, but like the Cardi B and the Mega and the Stalin, all those people, I don't know nothing about them. Don't listen to them. But when I got the prophecy about them, so this one is very similar. I don't know about this lady. I don't know if she sings like uh, or rap. I, I don't know. I don't know what music genre she does, but something came across me. My Facebook, everything comes my Facebook. I don't know these cookies business, brothers and sisters. When you press this cookie business, everything just come up. But anyways, um, and I've seen her more than one time on my Facebook when I'm scrolling down, people post about, but I don't, because I don't know her. It just, you know, pass me by, pass me by, so to speak. But this pop-up, I'm going to show it to you. This pop-up on my Facebook. Can get started. All right, I don't know if you know this woman. All right, let me see if I can find her name. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> it goes on here. Lizzo. She's called, she goes by the name of Liz Lizzo. Lizzo. All right. So this this thing pop up on my Facebook, and it says no words. Lizzo. Lizzo. I'm pronouncing it. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Lizzo looks sensational. Watch this. Lizzo looks sensational in a glittery neon yellow nude illusion bodysuit as she dazzles on stage. As she dazzles on stage. So this is the woman. That's her. Right. So the mean there is saying that this woman, all right, looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> they say she looks sensational, right? That's her. Okay. This is her. That she looks beautiful and she looks absolutely sensational. Now, when you look on her through the eyes of the Holy Spirit, we're not talking about her personality. We're talking about her physical appearance. And if you are a child of the most high, a higher, you will never ever look on her physically and say that she looks absolutely stunning and sensational. Because this is a woman that's promoting really and truly nudity. Now, when I saw this photograph, the first thing that came in my spirit is a clown, C-L-O-W-N, clown. If she had dressed, if she was back in the late 18th centuries, going into the 19th centuries, maybe 1910, 1920, and she dresses like this look at it where do you think she would end up in a circus this i am telling you this woman would definitely definitely end up in a circus to whatever she does performance to perform to the people but now everything has changed it switches in it so the world really is a big circus for these so-called entertainers, the children of Lucifer, who is doing their stuff on stage. The Lord is saying that, do not look at this woman, especially for those sisters in the Lord, whether you're white, black, Chinese, Asian, mixed race, it doesn't matter your color. You do not look at this woman and take inspiration from her. That's the message that the Lord is telling me. Do not look at this Lizzo lady and take any form of inspiration from her. Baba says, cover up your nakedness. And if this a promo and if this is a promotion, because she's on the plus size, is this is this woman, is this Lizzo lady, girl, woman, whatever. She's on the plus size. 
And if you're looking at her and said, oh my gosh, she's full of confidence. The way how she, or the way how she dresses, um, you know, she's out there and she's showing her, I don't want to, she's showing her heaviness, if you thought it was that. Not heaviness. She's so, she's showing her bigness. All right, her bigness. That to say that you know, woman who is big like her can dress any in any way. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. She does not look good. This one, terrible, terrible brothers and sisters. This girl, she looks horrendous she looks awful and if i see her in front of her face i would tell her the same thing she looks horrible she looks awful um i'm not disrespecting her or anything like that but because of the way how she dressed yes yeah, she does she does look look like a beach whale there it is i said it she does now you might say sister karen oh my days i can't believe it said that this woman looks like a beach whale she does look like a beach whale she does. And if she had dressed modestly and appropriately, covering up and looking good and sensibly, I would not say that she looked like a beach whale. But she's out there for the world. So she comes on stage half naked or in a naked suit, illusion naked suit, and expect nobody to say anything. Now, the wicked... This is how the world is. That's why you as a child of the most high, you cannot be a part of this wicked, dirty world. You cannot because if you do, you will get destroyed with them. So the world is saying, look at her. She looks absolutely sensational. She looks stunning. She looks glamorous. She doesn't look stunning. She does not look glamorous. She looks like a clown. She looks like one of those people that you, you could just put into a circus. And when I look at this photograph, and what make it more worse is she's a black woman as well. That'll even make it 50 times. I mean, if this was a white lady, I would still I would still be doing the same thing. I really would. Or a Chinese, whatever. I still would. Because this is, uh, like I said, this, this message is for the body of Christ, especially the female who are of a voluptuous type figure, you know, on the plus size don't look to this lizzo woman for inspiration because these people were for the kingdom of darkness you cannot look to them all right now what makes it 50 times worse is because she's a black woman and what they're showing you fat excuse my language but don't i'm just trying to I want to say this without offending sisters who are of the plus, let's say plus size sisters then, all right, let's say plus size, that sounds a bit better than saying fat, so I do apologize. So this Lizzo woman is, you see her there and she's a representation, because that's what the wicked is saying. She's a representation of black plus size women. That if you are black and you're plus size, it is absolutely fine to dress like that. This, that's what the wicked is promoting. Please understand what the devil is doing. He's absolutely craft, crafty. This is what they're promoting, this woman, this plus size woman. When I look at this photograph, brothers and sisters, I see... A woman, if she had dressed like this back in the late, say, 1910, late 18th century, going into the 19th century, she would be in a circus. Like, you might say, Sister Karen, what kind of circus? Circus, where you have lion and tiger and uh, jumbo, the elephant, baby elephant, <laughs> baby jumbo, the elephant, stuff like that. Where you have animals performing, she would be performing there with them. Because back in those days, back in those days, women did not dress like this. And if they do dress like this, there would be strippers, 
prostitutes are in a circus. Please understand history. But now everything has shifted. So you have the world is literally the circus. And they're applauding her for this foolish dress code. It's wicked. It's disgusting. And, and, and I don't know about her. I don't know anything. She's married. She's got kids. I don't know. But I don't know if there's anybody sensible. Hold on one second. I don't know why they're knocking me door so loud. Oh my days. Hold on brothers and sisters. Sorry about that brothers and sisters. I don't know why these post people have to knock me door so hard. It, yeah, it's a bit annoying really. But anyways brothers and sisters. This is a setup. And the reason why I'm doing this video like I say. Just like Beyonce. You have many, 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 many sisters and brothers in the church that claim to be a child of Haya who follows Beyonce. And in their heart and their mind, this Beyonce girl cannot do anything wrong. It's the same thing I'm saying with this lady, this Lizzo lady, that if you are a plus size female, a child of the Most High, Please do not look at Shona photo again. It's disgusting. Horrible. Horrible. Please do not look at this lady and say, oh, she dresses beautifully. She's horrid. She looks like a, a literal clown. And like I said, I don't know anything about her. I don't know if she's got family. But she needs somebody sensible to look at her and say, look, this is not the way. This is going to land her in the lake of fire. Baba says, cover up your nakedness. But this is how Satan is. Satan gets his daughters to go on the world stage and to promote um, nudity, to promote dressing that is not of the most high. So that when the children of a higher look at these people, the delusion is so strong, it makes them want to dress this way. But don't do it, brothers and sisters. These people are going to answer to the Most High. These people are going to answer to the Most High. So the world calls her sensational. She looks absolutely sensational. She does, she does not look sensational. She looks horrid. She looks horrible. She's, she, she, I'm not saying she is, but I'm saying she looks. The way how she dresses is horrible. Absolutely horrible. And for... It's, it's, it's not doing plus size women any justice it's not doing them any justice at all because it's, it's sending out the wrong message sending out the wrong message and if they're promoting that it is okay because you have to look on the all right you got to look on the elf issues as well and we know that when you have too much fat in your body, it is not good. So, sisters who are trying to lose weight and to, you know, shed some of the fat, whether it's baby fat or wherever the fat comes from. And seeing people like these up there in the public space, promoting, <laughs> promoting, plus size um, agenda, promoting plus size agenda, then you will have some people being slack and said, all right, you've got Liz up there. She looks good. She looks confident. You know, I, I don't really have to lose any weight because I'm just going to embrace my fatness. You can embrace it if you're healthy. There's a massive difference. Massive, massive difference. You can embrace your plus size if you are healthy. If it's a healthy fat, that's no problem at all. Because some people are naturally big boned. That's just genetics. That's all it is. But if you're healthy, healthy, which means that you don't have the comorbidities um, um, to go with it. You know, you don't have the high blood pressure, the diabetes, and you know and and all sorts 
then that is okay. But brothers and sisters, what the enemy is doing is a delusion. This is an illusion and you must not follow, especially like I'm talking to the sisters who are plus size. Please do not look at this woman and follow her. Don't do it. These people work for the kingdom of darkness. I'll show you her face. Listen, these people here, they work for the kingdom of darkness. Their agenda is to get the church way stray away from the most high. That is their agenda. Nothing else, nothing more because they've signed whatever they've assigned to the enemy. But I had to do this video because when I saw it, I just saw a clown, C-L-O-W-N, C-L-O-W-N, a clown in a circus, literally in a circus. I see this woman standing to one side. I see a man, uh, they call them the ringmaster with a big massive hula whoop type thing. And the people sitting on their seat cherry. And like I say, much less she's a black woman as well. It makes it 50 times worse, 50 times worse, not good. Brothers and sisters, you cannot be a part of this world. And if you don't call these things out, you're not judging, you're not criticizing, but you're calling things out for what they are. And I know that there are women there, I know that there are sisters in the church that probably see this photograph and or see her and think, oh, I want, I want to have that confidence. But where is she getting her confidence from? You've got to understand, even like you know, the likes of Beyonce, who works with an alter ego called Sasha Fierce. These people work with the demonic. So please do not be envious and jealous of these people's confidence, so-called confidence, when you see them on stage. Do not be, because when they come off the stage <laughs> and they close their bedroom door and they sit there in front of the mirror, you do not want to be in their position. So do not be envious and do not be jealous of all these people. You see, all, all of them, both male and female, come across very confident and they're on the stage and they're doing their thing and the whatever and the movies and they're acting. Listen, when they're by themselves, it's a different story. And that's why you hear so many of them commit suicide. Some of them suffer from depression. And you, the normal Joe Blocks, and all oh, the rich. They've got money. They can get anything in the world that they want while they're suffering from depression. Because they're working with a different force. The force helped them in the career that they have. But once the light is off and they're by themselves, it's a different story. So do not be envious. Do not look at this woman and say, oh, I want to have her confident. She's so confident. Oh, she's flaunting her thing. She looks horrible. She looks like a beach whale. She does not look good. She looks like a clown. And she needs to put some clothes on. Absolutely need to. And children of the most that please do not endorse these people. When they come across your page, do not, please don't do it. This is the world that we're living in. The Bible says that he that loveth the world, the love of the father is not in them. And you've got to call these things out as they are. Simple as. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not judging or I'm not criticizing our personality. No, because I don't know her. I never even heard her voice. I don't know what she sounds like. Never heard her speak, nothing like that. But I saw her physically a few times um, pop up on my Facebook. And I didn't think, think much of it. Um, the last one that I saw, I saw her with a flute. She was blowing, was it a, um, is it a flute or a, or a something? She was blowing some form of pipe business. And, and it, it didn't, I just... But this photograph, this really got to me. It really did. And I had to, I had to um, do a video concerning her. She doesn't look good. She, she, she looks like, like I said, she belongs to a circus in the 18th century. And that's where they would have put her. Because we know that women in those days, unless you're a prostitute or a stripper, or you work in the circus, that's how you would dress. And it's very, very sad. And like I say, what make it worse is she's a black woman as well. 
and we know what <laughs> we know back in the 18th century especially in babylon us and babylon uk what went on with our black sisters of this size this size and bigger they were put in circus so it's not a good look it's not a good look at all and you know like i say and i'm repeating myself if this was a white lady i would still be doing a pose like it if she were chinese i still would because it's not right you know this is this is over sexualizing um the female treating the female like a piece of meat it's wrong very very wrong on so many levels all right so all right brothers and sisters we come to the end of the video um okay i'm going to do the top 20 so these are the top 20 beautiful beloved i need a powerful video called rush rush submarines that rush rush got um supersonic subbies submarines underneath the water very very powerful video you need to watch it all right blue lily jereen smith renita miller Tangela Shelton, Edna Gaisi, Peda Todd, Bruce, yeah, Bruce is a Bruce, yeah, Bruce Bees. Okay, Theodora Manny, Julef Bailey, Sally Grace, Monique Scorn, Sharika. Sharika, I'm gonna say Sharika anyway. Sharika, okay. Um, A and B, Mebu Leperu, something like that. Julie Mayberry, voice of one crying in the wilderness. Renita Miller, Anita, Anika Satalu, Avon Aris, Jermaine D. A BB Samson. All right, and um, all things made new. Yes, daughter. Uh, Valerie Jarrett, L. Mackenzie, Macarita Reed, the Holy Watchers Ministry, Paulette Allen, and uh, I think I think I call A and B. A and B. <laughs> All right, double call. All right, so those are the top 20 beautiful beloved. I need a powerful video with Rush Rush Submarine. All right, okay. If you come to the end of the video, you have not accepted the Sire as the Lord and Savior. We want you into the kingdom of heaven. Things are getting serious, brothers and sisters. All right, say the sinner's prayer after me, the Messiah, the Christ. I know that you are the son of Hiah, whom the world calls God. I believe that Messiah have died on the cross uh, for my sins. Messiah, I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that uh, that Hiah has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Hiah, Messiah. King of glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Um, Ahaya, I thank you for your beautiful son, Isaiah, and I pray that you help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said a prayer, believe it in your heart. Welcome to the body of christ hallelujah um we want you in the kingdom of heaven you know need to find um we believe in acts 2 verse um 38 you've done the repenting part you need to find a man of the most that to baptize you fully dunk you in water we believe in spirit um we believe in spiritual transformation when you go down in water you're sent to the most high that he died on the cross you believe in the torment of sin when the man of the most high raised you out of the water you're raised into new life you're a new creature hallelujah you're raised into the glory and the power of christ's resurrection so be bold be strong be courageous walk with the higher just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high Ahaya, who lives above the heavens higher eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in yesiah's holy name Amen. Amen. Let's say the benediction. The benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Messiah or Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both in our endeavor. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.